Today's video, we're going to go over a topic. It's, it was a question that we had from several of our subscribers on a recent video that they viewed on YouTube. And the topic was on hand dropping. Uh, and in my opinion, that a hand dropping is not a good idea. And what a lot of guys are calling hand dropping when they practice their punches is that, you know, when, they, when they're throwing a punch, and I can only assume what they say is a big difference between telegraphing and hand dropping. But hand dropping, they, if you're, if you got, you're in your stance and you got your hands here. They bring the hand here to throw the hook, and then they throw the hook. They go from here to here to throw the hook. So I would assume that telegraphing would be that, okay, hand dropping is still having the elbow here and throwing it. Telegraphing would be bringing the elbow out and throwing it. The problem with hand dropping is when you are practicing to be excellent at something, you have to strive for perfection. You'll never attain it, but you will catch excellence. There may be a big difference between practicing hand dropping and practicing telegraphing. But there's a big difference between practicing hand dropping and pra practicing for perfection. Because anything that we practice, when we get under stress, if we have a flaw and we're practicing something, when you get under stress under the lights, in the big fights, and, and fatigue sets in, but before even fatigue sets in, just being under the lights, those flaws amplify. So when you're practicing in the gym and you're, and you're practicing your shadow box and those hands are here and you're throwing those hooks, those hooks, if you watch a lot of the great fighters, a lot of the all-time greats, they are practicing those shots. When I trained Roy Jones, he had told me, he says, you know, I, when I started getting back with you, I started to start practicing my fundamentals again. I got away from my fundamentals because I was so dominant. You know, but if you, if you watch even Roy when he was shadow boxing, especially as a middleweight, everything is practiced, practiced short. Punches are short. Things are coming here. You watch the great Julio Cesar Chavez, all those punches is here. If I want to go here, instead of bringing my hand here, I take my body. Because what happens there, if I take my body here and I, and I can't land a shot, I can always make an adjustment. I can always block. I can always move. My hands are here. If I come here, I'm open. I'm dead. I'm dead. And, and, and what happens under stress, what becomes here, becomes here. What becomes stress, when, it, you, when you're under stress, if you're practicing it here, it's going to end up here under stress. Or under a situation of fatigue, it's going to become here. So what becomes in the gym here, if I want to get around an angle, yeah, sometimes you're going to bring it out around. But really, it's not about bringing it out here. It's not about bringing it out. It's about bringing it forward and over. So in other words, I'm throwing a hook. Instead of bringing it here and coming around, I'm going to bring it to the guy, and then, boom, I'm snapping the hook in. I'm coming around that angle. If I have to come around that arm, I'm going to go out. That hand's staying in. The elbows are in. It's going here, and I'm coming here, and now I'm snapping my hips, and I'm throwing that shot. I'm not coming around like that. I'm not coming here and coming around. I'm coming. If I have to, if I have to get that angle, if I have to get that angle, I'm not going to... I'm not going to take it here and come around. I'm going to turn my body and get around. Just like slipping like Mike Tyson. If you watch Mike Tyson shadow boxing, when he was young, everything was compact and tight. Everything was compact and tight. When he got away from his fundamentals, later years, and Tyson, Tyson was nowhere near the same guy. You started seeing those hooks come away because he wasn't practicing tight. He wasn't under the same system. He was, those fundamentals were breaking down. So anytime you're practicing, you're practicing for perfection. There is, no, there is no loopholes. When you throw an uppercut, it doesn't come down here and you throw it here. When you throw that, when you throw that uppercut, you got that uppercut, people don't understand. It's just one eye on a shot. So that one eye gives me, when I turn that one eye, I'm turning my hips, I'm turning everything, and that punch is coming. So that, that uppercut is going to be 
It's not going to be here and here. It's going to be here. I'm coming here and I'm looping it. Bam! And I'm, sh and I'm snapping it right there. Now, when fatigue sets in and stress comes in, it's going to be a little bit more. But if I'm practicing in here, it's going to end up here. Anybody that's been involved in major, major fights knows the pressure of being under the lights and the intensity of the event. The intensity of the event of, in any sport, if you have a flaw, it amplifies. It's magnified. So when you're in that gym, you are practicing everything, like I said, for perfection. No one is perfect, but you will reach excellence. So you are in that gym, when you're teaching, you want, you want your guys, you want to practice everything in there tight. You want everything in there tight. You're here, the hands are here. If I want to go here, I want to come to the, I want to get out to an angle, I'm going to take my whole body, my hands are here. I can always make an adjustment, I can block. I got my hands in here, elbows are in. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I can block, I can roll. Everything's in there tight. Everything's in there tight. I want to go here, I'm going to go here. If I want to throw the uppercut, I'm going to go here. I'm not going to bring the hand down. I got to turn the body to get the angle. If I got to turn the body, my hands are here. Everything's there. Hands are in there tight. One eye, one eye, one eye. Boom, boom, boom. Hands in there. Turn, 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 turn. I'm going to turn, I'm going to turn my body. My body, my elbows are in, and I'm turning. Nothing comes out. Hands are in here. Boom, boom, boom. Like I said, if I want to get, if I got to get out and get around an arm, I'm coming out and in. Boom, out like that. If I want to, if I got to get a, more of an angle, I turn my body to get out. Because I'm never going to get caught. Because if I have to make an adjustment, I can come right back and block. I'm not going to be here and have an opening. I could be here and shoulder roll right back to it. Because everything's connected. I could be here and I could dip. Whatever I have to do. But them hands, everything's right in there. As tight as you can. Punches are, punches are hidden. That's the whole key to knocking somebody out is the punch they don't see. So you've got to be able to hide those punches. So when I throw, when I throw a hook, I could be here. Guys, look, actually, he's looking at it. He, he's actually going to be looking at the right hand. I could throw that hook instead of bringing it out. Now you guys can see it. Same thing with an uppercut. I'm here. He's looking at the left hand. And I'm hiding. I'm sealing that. I'm sealing that uppercut. I'm sealing it. I'm hiding that uppercut. I'm here. I'm sealing a left uppercut. I'm sealing a hook. I throw a jab, you can't see my right hand till it hits you. So do yourself a favor. When you're in the gym, strive for perfection. Keep everything tight.